for the YouTube. Um, I'm kind of sick. I'd get brought home from school and all that, but I will probably be making more guides soon as I've got more time home. Um, I've been sick since yesterday, but uh, this guide is the quest guide for the tutorial. Um, I'm I believe it's um, thingy foundations, I forget what it's called, but I will put it up in the title. So basically what you click is create a coin, and once you've done that, you type in username. Ah, ah, oh. um, this is a coin that I'm making now. Uh, it will, probably when I get a high enough level, I'll probably end up selling it for subscribers or something on my old account, that's what I used to do, but I got a bit bored, so I'll probably end up giving it away, Sand is, see I randomly level up a point, that's so when I get bored, still type in password which can be anything, re-enter password, That set successfully created. Type in the name again. I think it was that. Yeah. Three seven day membership. Woo! Okay. Um. So click the play, and once you've done that, it'll bring you to the tutorial. Okay, you put in your date of birth. I just put anything random in. Anything random in. Wait. I always put 1990 in mind. Okay. Confirm. Ah! Oh. Holy. Whoa! 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 Rotate the camera using the arrow keys until okay. you can see the knight servant. Now that I Click have on him and select talk to crazy. to get started. We will start talk to servant. Wait a moment! There's a dragon coming. I'll uh -oh. give you I need some help over here. Talk to Zavant to find out what he wants. Thank goodness you're here. My squire is dead. And there's a... I can't turn my back on this dragon. Right click on the items on the floor and select take Why to pick up right each click? one. Click on the flashing icon right to, to view your up. inventory. Right click on an item in your inventory and select wield or where to a click on the flashing icon. to view. Your worn item screen shows you the items you've got equipped. Now that you're equipped for battle, right click on the goblet your character will keep fighting until one of you dies or decides to walk away. Die. Thank you. Now, to deal with the dragon. As you get more familiar with RuneScape, plank. you'll learn other oh. forms of combat and meet tough. This dragon's a tougher customer than I'd expect. One corner of the ceiling is held up by in my back. I'll keep the. You've embarked on the unstable foundation. Yeah. You'll see that unstable foundations is listed in yellow to indicate that you've started the quest. Quest journals record what you're supposed to be. Now, click on the world map button to see a map of this cellar. Okay. 
Okay, and there we go. When you're using the world map to help you navigate, it helps okay, if you rotate you the, the camera plank. so that north is at the top of your screen. Ooh, cool. The once compass you helps the you plank, find north. Click on the compass on the now wall. to point that'll come later. Aww. Right then, click on the Time compass. to get on with the quest. For a start, you'll need to get some meat from Savant's bag. Right click okay, on the alert, bag alert and select talk. search. Time to get on with the quest. You'll need to climb over the wall. Right click it and select climb over. The ramp should make it possible for you to climb. Explore the cellar until you find the wooden pillars. Your right, character can left. run if they have sufficient energy. You can make your character run automatically by turning on run mode. Click the boot icon by the minimap. Don't stick the meat on the pillar. You meant what? to put it in Hey, don't just drop it on the floor. What? You're supposed to be placing it in the food bowl. Now you tell me. It smelt the meat. Hide! Hi, where? When? Hi, when? Grubs up! Shoo! Well done. Come out of hiding and I'll tell you what we're doing next. Great. You've got the dragon in the right place. Talk to Savant to find Ooh. out the next part of his plan. I know we need part. to destroy these pillars to collect. Could you get the... Check the quest journal if you wish to remind yourself of Savant's instructions. Nice to me before the dragon wakes up. Okay, so we need to search his bag again. Ah, uh, bitchin'. This bag's here. Okay, so we've got everything. You search Savant's bag and take a selection of supplies. Now, we're gonna burn the first wrap the oil. To rip the cloth into rags, click the rip, rip option on you rip the cloth and end up with two rags. To soak a rag in oil, click on the rag in your inventory to select you. You soak the rag in oil. To wrap oily rags around the pillars, click on the oily rags in your inventory. You wrap the oily rag around the pillar. So just soak the other one and wrap it around the pillar. The rag has already been soaked in oil. Wrap it around the other pillar. And then, and then click use fuse and use it in servant. To attach a fuse to a pillar. I don't think I need oh, that which, just at which, the moment, thank you. You attach the... You attach the fuse to the pillar. And then you use the tinderbox on him. To give Savant a tinderbox, you offer Savant a tinderbox. Thank you. Get ready. Use your tinderbox on the pillar to light the fuse. And... Then run away. Run, bitch! Run. run! Run, run, run! Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! I don't want to die, I don't want to die! Oh god. No! No! Ah. What happened? What? But. Aww. Wow! Dora! Oh, Ruddick! Congratulations, the dragon's dead. Big whoop. Speak to Roddick, the man who's... I'm incredibly grateful to... Where I'll add a... Click on the question mark button at the top right of your... This is the advisor screen. You can... Before we go any further, once we're out of this cellar, I'll be able to advise you about where to get useful items. To give Savant an item, right-click on it in your Whoops. inventory and select Use. Then, click on Savant. Here's mice. Right. I think that's everything. When the ceiling collapsed, I'm sure... What would you like to say? Well, I would, but <laughs> my armor's terribly hard to clean when it gets dirty. 
I'm sure Roddick can teach you how to clear the rocks or the tree roots out of the way. Right, this is where you just you can get up to level three mining or level three wood cutting. Um, so if you want to do mining, I believe you can. You have to be level three, no level two, mining to mine that, and level two mining, level two wood cutting to mine that. Uh, you can mine. I know where to wood cut, so I'll do the mining. We need you to break the choice is yours. I'll mine the rocks. Would you like to mine through do the rocks everyone. or chop through the roots? I said mine. We need you to break through one of the de The choice is yours. Would you like to mine through the Roddick? Well, right. you've got a pickaxe. Uh, you can select the damaged walls cut, mine you option to up. mine your way through the rocks. Pickaxes can be carried in your inventory. I don't care. And you can also wield them as weapons. So I just need to remember what you mine to get your level up. Completely forget mining. Oh, you need to try to mine the wall. You attempt to mine through the rocks. You'll need a mining level of two to clear the rocks. You didn't have the required skill level to... Your stat screen should... Your objective is to raise your mining level to two. The objective screen recommends activities to you. It's a handy resource if you're ever looking for something to do. Now you've got an objective, Roddick can advise you on how to achieve it. Click the advisor button to seek his advice. I've done. Right, so I just need to remember. I'll start recording again when I find out what to mine. Okay, I found out what to do. You have to click the advisor button and click how can I raise my mining level and you'll say that and you, now you can mine that you swing your pick at the rock you break off some bits of rock you mine a few stone chippings from that rock the chippings are now in your inventory since they're not particularly useful you should drop them on the floor no I shouldn't Congratulations! You've reached level two. You should now be able to mine through the. Let's come back to that once we've got out of this cellar. Let's come back to that once we've got out of this cellar. Just want to get to level three. Now mine the rock. Jump over. Ah, oh, well done. Ruddick retrieves his pickaxe from you. Now you can leave. Escape up the ladder to freedom. You're still carrying a few stone chippings. It's drop. best to drop when you drop items on. Thank you again for your help with the dragon. You'll receive a little reward for completing the quest when you get outside. Sweet. Because once that's done, talk to Roddick. At last we're out. Now Savant has accomplished his mission. Well, my mission is accomplished now. I'd better... Goodbye, Savant. And thank you again. I suppose this must be your first... Use, use the objective screen to set yourself an objective. The random objective button will help you pick one. Once you have an objective, use the advisor button to consult Roddick. Cool. Bye bye. You may now leave as you leave. Roddick wanders off home. Use the advisor button for help on completing your objective. Right, so now we're in actual runescape. And if you're wondering where you got the last lamp, this is where Roddick lives. Here. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be making another guide to do with Dungeoneering today. I'll make a couple of guides. And thank you for watching and goodbye.